Greetings everyone, my name is Six Media and welcome to my trading series. Hey guys, what's up? Since the last episode a lot of stuff happened, I managed to pull off a really interesting trades and I'm glad I can share my progress with you. Please keep in mind I was switched between CSGO and TF2 constantly. Um, if I trade uh, mostly CSGO items in one episode, it doesn't mean I don't trade in TF2. Right now I have about 1900 keys in unusuals and I'm looking to downgrade them actually. Uh, to clear this up once again, CSGO trading and TF2 trading, what, what is better? Well, in my opinion, uh, CSGO trading is uh, better because you can sell or buy items way faster and you can sell items instantly for pure and uh, CSGO has actually a bigger audience, bigger fan base, um, and basically better future. And uh, what I also like about CSGO is uh, the system of trading servers. Now, you might actually know about this already, but if not, uh, then I will try to explain it to you. So CSGO trading servers work like this. The server has, um, let's say you are interested in some item. Guy tells you, go to this room, let's say go to the room H and you will go to the room H. Now, when you close the door on the room H, uh, you won't hear anyone outside the room and you can actually negotiate with this guy privately on the server. So yeah, that's what I like about Cisco trading. Now, what I don't like about Cisco trading is a uh, slow process of trading up and in each trade you make uh, less profit. Uh, many people try to scam you. Now, I would say in all games uh, there are a lot of scammers, but I would say there are more scammers in CSGO than in TF2. I don't know why, maybe because CSGO has a bigger fan base. I would say because of that, but yeah. And there are also many more greedy people trying to profit on you. Um, but on the other hand, TF2 trading, uh, what I like about it uh, that it has fast process of trading up. You will make more profit in each trade and um, it has also some disadvantages. But uh, let me tell you something. There are not that many scammers uh, in TF2. I mean, for sure, there are a lot of them. There are not that many scammers like in CSGO. And also, I would say there are less greedy people and you can actually make some fair deals and even profit on some. So yeah, um, I mean, I'm not saying CSGO trading is like uh, there are only greedy people and stuff. What I don't like about TF2 is that usually you can't sell items uh, very fast. Now, it might take you like few days or maybe few hours or even few months to sell something. And when I compare it to CSGO, I sometimes sell a knife in CSGO within a minute. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty pretty bad in my opinion. And what I also don't like about TF2 is that I can't actually sell items for pure instantly i might actually get some pure offers but it's really rare uh in tf2 not uh, everyone has pure keys but like uh, if i compare it to csgo i would uh, change a lot now mainly with the private rooms you know like in csgo uh now what i don't like about tf2 also is uh, that there are bad updates and future for this game is not that bright I mean, there are, uh, there are still and there will be many people who will complain about this game like, uh, wow, man, why are you investing in TF2? Uh, TF2 is going to die in like three months. You are crazy. Uh, but I mean, it's not going to crash anytime soon. I'm just saying uh, CSGO has a better future because uh, TF2 is a really old game. And CSGO is a newer game. It has a f bigger fan base. I'm not saying they're actually doing anything like uh, that is uh, insane or anything, but like many people are not that satisfied with TF2 updates lately. So yeah, that's that's what worries me. Anyways, let's get back to my trades. So in the first trade, I actually sold my butterfly knife blue steel minimal wear for three different knives. Um, actually, I sold it for a gut knife for a DD pad battle skirt. Gut knife knight field tested and a statrek felcher knife urban mast uh, field tested as well. And uh, at the end, basically 42 plus 46 plus 43 equals uh, roughly about to 131 euro, which is about, I would say, about 58 57 keys. Final profit is about 16 euro, which is about 7 keys profit, which is not that bad. I mean, 7 keys profit uh, in a single trade, that's, that's pretty solid, I would say. So in the next trade, I sold one of my knives I got for keyspear, and I sold it for 20 keyspear. 
which is about 46 euro and uh, at end uh, it is the full price of the knife in keys so he basically paid the full price in case yeah that's that's pretty much it so in the next raid literally a few minutes after this trade i sold the statrock felcher knife for 35 keys pier i literally don't know how i managed to do this but uh, this knife sells for like max 33 euro and i sold it for 35 keys pier now <laughs> This is like uh, 35 keys is like 81 euro or so. So at end I got about 38 euro, so about 70 keys of clear profit. Now this was actually pretty insane trade in my opinion. He overpaid in pure keys, so yeah, definitely I'm really glad for this trade. And right after this trade, I managed to sell my ugly cut knife battle scared forest DD pad for a field tested urban mast shadow daggers, which is like free keys profit I think. Well, it's not that much, but field-tested diggers with minimal wear float for an ugly battle scared gut knife? I think the trade was pretty much bare gain, even if I didn't make much profit on it. Uh, in the next trade, I bought M4 Hyper Beast minimal wear for about 7 keys per Now, normal price of this weapon is about 10 keys, so about 3 keys of clear profit, which is about 7 euro, by the way. So, in the next and the final trade of this episode, I've decided to upgrade all of my junky items for one better knife. So, I managed to get a current bit stained minimal wear for M9 stained and Shadow Daggers plus uh, my M4 Hyper Beast and about 10 key spear on top uh, for this knife. Now, usually many people tend to ask a lot of overpay when, when downgrading their good items for many cheap ones. I didn't actually overpay, I, in fact, I actually made some profit, it's not too much, it was uh, about 3 or 4 keys maybe, but still, I think it's uh, it was a really good trade. You may be asking why I did uh, this, why, why did I upgrade? Well, basically, um, since these are the TF2 slash CSGO training series, I'm going to switch to TF2 at some point, and it will be way easier to switch with expensive item, such as um, Corambi Doppler than to switch with uh, f like let's say four knives uh, which are low tier like cut knives and so on and i'm not mentioning i can actually ask way more for the karambi doppler than for these knives because if the item is more expensive you can actually make uh, way more profit on it i mean this is not really any rule but uh, keep in mind the more expensive item you have the more profit you can make and the more overpay you can ask now, uh, there is a difference between uh, the price and uh, what are you asking for it. You can ask whatever you want for your item, it doesn't matter if it's less or more than the actual price. Many people don't realize the difference between this and sometimes I'm even getting mad about this because I'm, I'm not trying to judge anyone, but uh, it's, it's not that hard to understand the difference between price and the buyout, which is basically what you are looking for it. So yeah, if you have anything uh, that is more expensive, um, I would suggest you asking more for it. Uh, just try to look for offers, uh, don't sell it after one day. And if you won't get any offers for like uh, one day or maybe two days or maybe even a week, uh, don't, don't be stressed out. I mean, you can always resell anything, anything, really, guys. I had uh, most of the items in Team Fortress 2, I had a ton of items in CSGO, many knives, anything basically you can imagine. And uh, yeah, I sold all without any problems. I mean, I had few problems. I Once I think I had uh, some TF2 Robo Unusual, which I couldn't actually sell for like three months. That's that's probably the most, yeah, I would say that's probably my, my most unlucky trade. But yeah, at the end, I actually profited a lot from this trade. So yeah, guys, I'm afraid this is actually all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this and make sure to check all my previous videos. I make training series from TF2 and CSGO and I also give many training tips. So yeah, this, this channel will be mainly CSGO and TF2 training tips, I guess. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I will make more CSGO frag movies and such videos because they take, take a lot of time to edit and they are not uh, that favored by you guys. So yeah, I don't know. I will still have to decide about that. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe and all that stuff. And as always, see you guys in the next one.